Oh, hey, Mr. Plato Ed. You don't look so good. Looks like you have a runny nose, and your cheeks are all rosy. Hey, awesome kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little under the weather right now. I don't feel so good. Oh, that's not good. But I can cook you up something that should make you feel a lot better. My homemade vegetable soup. That sounds amazing. Can I have some, please? Sure thing. Let's move on to the kitchen so I can make you some. Welcome to the awesomer kitchen. My homemade veggie soup should cure you in a heartbeat. Here's the blue soup pot I'll be using to cook today. Let's take off the lid. And look how much soup this pot can hold. I'll use this orange ladle and feed you as much soup as you want. Alright, so to make my famous homemade soup, we're obviously going to need a lot of veggies. Let's name and count all the veggies I add into this soup pot. The first veggie I'm adding to this pot is... Celery! Did you know that celery was once used as ancient bouquet of flowers to reward winners of athletic games in ancient Greece? I wonder if the athletes ate it right after. But anyway, we're going to need one, two, and three pieces of celery in the pot. So here's one, two, and three. All right, the next veggie going into this pot is a tomato. Fun fact, eating cooked tomatoes may act as kind of an internal sunscreen. Let's give Mr. Plato ed one and two pieces of tomato so that he can have some internal sunscreen. All right, into the pot goes one and two tomato slices. Let me mix up the veggies a bit. Okay, the next veggie going into this pot is an onion. Here's another fun fact. The strong odor of onions can make us cry. We all know that. But you can prevent that effect by chewing gum, eating bread, or lighting a candle. I'm gonna have to do one of these things right now because I'm about to add one, two, and three sliced onions. Okay, I'm chewing gum right now and adding one, two, and three sliced onions. No tears. Mix the veggies again. All right, the next veggie going into this pot is broccoli. Ready for another fun fact? According to a survey in 2009, oh, that is a long time ago, broccoli was the sixth most commonly misspelt word in English. Well, many years have passed, so we must know how to spell it now, right? Do you guys know? Let's say it together. B-R-O-C-C-O-L-I. Broccoli. Great job. And let's add one piece of broccoli into the soup pot. Here's one. Mix the veggies. Okay, the next veggie going into this pot is a carrot. Did you know that 87% of carrot is water? I didn't know that. Maybe I'll add a little less water and put in one, two, and three carrot pieces into the pot. Here's one, two, and three. Mix the veggies in the pot some more. Okay, now the next veggie going into this pot is a potato. Did you know potatoes are one of the few crops that grow in all 50 states? America sure loves potatoes. For this soup, we're going to need one and two pieces of potato. Let's throw in one and two pieces of potato into the pot. Mix the veggies again. Now the last ingredient going into the soup is not a veggie. It's noodles. These noodles will make the soup hearty so that Mr. Plato Ed's belly can be warm and full. Let's add one, two, and three strands of noodle into the soup. All right, here's one, two, 
and three. Mix it around one final time. Now I need to put the lid back on and let it simmer for a bit. All right, the soup should be ready. Mmm, it smells delicious and it looks super healthy. Let me use this orange ladle and put some of the soup into this purple bowl. Give me one second. Okay, that should be good enough. Grab a spoon. And here's one healthy serving of my homemade veggie soup. Let's go feed this to Mr. Plato Head. Oh, wow. You still don't look too good, Mr. Plato Head. Here, have some soup while it's hot. Oh, wow. Just looking at it makes me feel so much better. I can't wait to try it. Here, let me feed you. Say ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Start with this tomato piece. We still got plenty of soup. Say ah. Uh, ah. Uh. This time, let's feed him a piece of broccoli and celery. This soup is amazing because it has so many different flavors from all the different veggies. Okay, Mr. Plato Ed, say ah, ah. Now let's feed him onions and a potato. Uh. We're almost done with the soup. One more bite. Say ah, ah. Go with the noodles and the carrot. Uh. All right, Mr. Plato Ed, let's go get you checked up to see how you feel now. Oh, wow, you look a lot better now. But just to be safe, let's start by checking your ears and your eyes. Mm hmm. Okay. Are you sure you were sick? You look pretty good. Check the other side. Yep. Perfectly fine. Eyes are good and ears are good too. Let me just get your temperature and we'll be all set. Wait one second. Yep, you're all good, Mr. Plato Ed. Perfectly healthy. Wow, I thought I was going to die today, but your soup really brought me back to life. Thank you so much. No problem. If you're ever sick, come back again, and I'll make you my homemade veggie soup. You're the best. Well, I feel much better now, so I'm going to go out and have some fun. I'll see you again next time. See ya.